Hi and welcome to Real Magic Review, the best place for your unaffiliated, unbiased reviews. Now before we go on the usual, please like and subscribe to this. I'm in a situation at the moment where, yes, some people are sending me stuff to review, but obviously my numbers aren't up as much as the big hitters in the sort of thousands, so people are a bit reluctant, totally understandably, to start sending me all their new tricks. So uh, if you do want something reviewed, something specific, please do let me know. And also those likes and subscribes will really help get towards a, a place where I can be receiving uh, products to review for you. So. Uh, but let's get on with it. This review is going to probably be a little bit shorter just because of the nature of the product and it's David Diamond's hand-cut stripper deck. Now if you're like me you would have discovered stripper deck decks years ago and my first one was one of the kind of you know the classic two quid ones you know I was in Australia and I saw it and and I bought this stripper deck and I was quite amazed at what it did actually and, and back then it was easy I mean this is tw 20 odd years ago so people didn't know as much about them so you, you kind of could get away with one that, if you looked at closely, basically looked like a wedge of cheese. Um, but, but just the way that card came out was, was, was fascinating to me. And, that, and I did perform with it. You know, when I used to go around Australia in bars with this thing and fool the hell out of people. And now, obviously, we're in a situation where you, a lot of times people know about them, so you've got to use them a little bit more cleverly. You can't just do the usual uh, stripper thing. Or maybe you can, but you've got to do some other stuff first. Or, or, or do it in a way that isn't quite so obvious because we've all had that thing where, you know, when I'm performing, someone will take the cards off me and kind of do the, you know, the movement that you would do with a stripper deck to check them. So you don't want that. So, so I think a lot, because of that, a lot of us have kind of disregarded this as a kind of, you know, we don't do that anymore. It's a, it's a thing. But now there's a, a, a kind of resurgence, I think, because there are, we, we've come up with cleverer ways of doing it. And I, and I was full. I mean, a whole room of people were fooled in the session a few years ago uh, by a very well-known magician. I won't give it away because if I give it away, you might say that, well, trick it is and you might not want your nose. But it's a very well-known magician who fooled the whole room, floored the whole room, actually a mentalist with, with a stripper deck. And nobody had a clue because of the way it was used. And I think we can say the same with thumb tips, you know, if, you, if, you, if you've got one, yes, a lot of people you have had a magic set with, with one in, but there are still ways of doing it. And I use it on stage where, where people wouldn't possibly know. So David Diamond sent me this and I was a little bit reluctant because I was like, I don't really use them. And I've played with this over the past, well, it's probably been quite a while now he sent it to me. So sorry, David, it's, um, it's taken me a while. But, but I've, I've, in the last week, I've really been playing with this and realized how powerful it can be. So one of the things is, I think, you know, if you use it as a proper deck and do some normal stuff with it first, it's a little bit more powerful. Uh, and, and the other thing is, if you look at it, you can't tell it's a stripper deck. Now, that's really important because my first sort of proper stripper deck that I got, which was a bicycle deck, you looked at it and it did look, I mean, you know, because of the borders, you could tell straight away that there was something iffy there. Uh, and, and this, you know, you can look at and you, you can't see that. So that's one thing. Now, this is, is cut, and uh, but I'm sorry about the pronunciation, but I think it's Owen O'Hare jig. It's cut on the Owen O'Hare jig. Um, and it's, you know, David takes care to use a fresh blade on every car, every deck, uh, and he checks the corners and makes sure they're not sort of wedged and stuff like that. So they're, they're, all the corners look exactly the same. So, so care is taken on this. You know, I got a, quite a long email from David explaining the process. And you can always tell when you get a long email like that, that, that this is something that's made out of care, that, that he cares for this product. And, and that's why a lot of people are apparently using this. A lot of pro magicians are using it. Now, David has a routine he talked me through that I won't go into detail, but it's a really lovely one where, the, where someone checks your pockets and, and you, they take your card and you put the deck in your pocket and pull out a card. Now, that's a simplistic way of doing it, but there's a couple of subtleties in there. I'm not sure whether he sells the routine, but it's, it just, again, it made me look at this and kind of go, actually, yeah, I could, I'm going to try and do this. Um, I've also tried stripping out four aces with this, and they do come out really, really easily with no effort. Um, but I did come up with a really nice way of using this deck, uh, which I've been doing, which is great. So, so what I do is when I work with my training, with my leadership training or personal development coaching and stuff like that, some people, you know, they find out you're a magician and they want to learn a trick. So what I tend to do is I tend to teach a trick that if they don't really care about it, they're probably not going to remember it. And it's based on a trick that a lot of people do anyway. And it's kind of the old reverse card trick, you know, where you take... You know, they take a card and look at it while they're looking at it. You reverse the card and it's got face up one on the bottom. They put it back in. So the card is in effect face down in a face up deck and you put it behind your back and you pretend 
that you're taking it out, feeling it, turning it around and putting it back in, and then you give it to them and they spread through it and the card is face down. So it's a classic, you know, everybody knows it. Um, but I do that and I teach it and then I say, but you know, if you get more advanced, you can do it you know, a little bit more deceptively. And then I do it with a stripper de deck. So they take a card out, you know, they put it back in. I show them that it's not reversed. They can even shuffle the deck. Um, so the deck isn't reversed, they've already learned a trick. And then I put it behind my back and I actually do what I say I'm gonna do is I strip the card out turn it around and put it face up in the face down deck so you know it's, I'm not saying that's gonna you know I'm not gonna be publishing that and selling it for 100 quid as a PDF but um, it's it's another way of kind of using this and I think that the possibilities uh, and there's been a few books written about this recently that are getting more and more and I think that's why we're kind of we're starting to use them again the other thing is you know, if you are the sort of person that isn't a professional magician and, you know, as pro magicians, you know, we we've, that's that thing that we only need like five or six tricks and we can, and that's fine. But if we're not pro magicians, and I'm a hobbyist as well, we need more tricks to show that our friends and family uh, and the people that we enjoy performing to and people at clubs. And I think that to, to switch in one of these decks and start doing stuff with a stripper deck after doing stuff with a normal deck is, is again, very, very powerful. You know, you need more tricks if you're going to be showing the same people stuff all the time. So, um, so what I can say about this deck, you know, is it's really lovely to play with. It looks great. You know, it's clearly been been made with precision. And I like to talk about this sort of stuff because it's independent. You know, it's good to support people that are creating this stuff on the on, on their own bat. And and um, so go and check it out if if that's your thing. And uh, and thanks for sending me this, David. It's 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 really nice of you. And and you didn't have to do that. So cool. So. Uh, get that at corporate-illusion, I'll, I'll just put the link down below, just click on the link and that's the hand-cut stripper deck.